Hey class, it's Professor Joyce. Wanted to check in for this week. A little short video. So I have graded all of your field reports. Check the assignment section and carefully read the comments. I've left very specific comments for each and every one of you as to what I'm looking for with your next draft, which is due tomorrow, Tuesday, August the 9th. Um, so a couple things. One, definitely follow the format. I do want you to write an essay form, which many of you have done. Uh, however, definitely have a section. So you have your, after you've done your introduction and opening statement, which you've already submitted. For the next version, this will now be a complete submission of all of your progress. So you'll start with your introduction. You'll have your opening statement with whatever adjustments I've asked. And then you'll follow with the description of the event. Again, list description. Go through in essay format, everything about that. And again, I want to feel like I'm in the room with you. There's your analysis section. Analysis section. Again, analyze and go into, again, your reflections. And after you've taken all this in, um, kind of, you know, what does this mean for you? So follow the questions on the template. And then for the appendix, this is where if you've tweeted, do a screen capture and put that in your report. If there are any kind of flyers at the event, I would say take a photo and upload it. You want to have a digital record of all of the different examples of attachments, photos you've taken, tweets you've sent. If uh, there aren't any of those things, go to their website and give me a couple of screen captures of you know, what this organization is about. So that really fills out and gives your appendix section um, some color and some weight. So that's what's due for the next version. Uh, the addendum, you will not put in this version. That's at the very final one. Um, but for this one, definitely follow the field report template with sections one through five. The other is I have gone through all of your LinkedIn and I again have added very specific comments and recommendations for changes. And what I like to do is give you an opportunity to increase your grade if you've had points taken off for you either didn't customize your URL or you didn't have a photo or you didn't have a summary. This is really an opportunity for you to get your professional presence set up in a way as part of this class and take my comments and incorporate them, then this gives you the framework. If you haven't already come across this, especially for those of you who are juniors and seniors, major organizations and companies are using LinkedIn almost exclusively to source talent. So that's where many of you have said, definitely put your major right in your profile title, right below your name, and it's not to say that whatever jobs you've had aren't important. They are important, but you really want to feature what's your major, what is it you're focusing on, and what it is you would really like to be identified and potentially receive an opportunity to interview for some of these firms. So um, the LinkedIn is very important. So that's why I give you a chance to increase your grade if you make those changes. You do need to do it. Email me the link and tell me you've made the changes. I'll go back in and review it. And uh, if you've done it satisfactorily, I will um, add those points back. Okay, so that's it. Um, oh, one other thing, some questions have come up. Given the shortness of this class, we don't have a lot of weeks, some of you may have had difficulty getting in touch with an organization leader, um, even after you have emailed. So here's what I suggest, especially for tomorrow's submission. If you have followed the format and you have emailed a leader, if you've gotten any kind of answer from them, but you have not as yet had an in-person meeting to interview them, or you have not had a phone conversation to interview them, I want you to document and to send copies right in your field report just do a screen capture of the email that you send of any responses that you've gotten similar to when 
a reporter is doing an investigative journalism piece, they don't always reach the people they want to interview. So I want you to definitely document everything you have done to identify and to contact a leader and include that in your report in the interview section. If you have done your interview, then certainly give me the questions you've asked, the answers you've received to complete that. So everybody should absolutely have something to submit for the interview section, whether you've done the interview or you've reached out to get the interview, there is some documentation you're going to be able to provide to support the interview being conducted and done or the effort that you've gone through and it's with copies of emails, any other records that you have where you've reached out to get that. So that was one other thing I wanted to add. All right, so that's it. You know how to reach me. Either direct message me on Twitter, and I'd like to see some more tweets. Um, feeling a little lonely. i uh, like to see the class hashtag used out there, um, along with email me. And again, the deadline is Tuesday by the very end of the day to submit submission to, again, August the 9th. And that is to ensure you don't have a lateness penalty. Um, if for some reason under circumstances that are out of your control, if you need an additional extension, you must email me before the deadline. You must get my permission. You must get an email back from me saying that I've approved that. But um, I'd really like everybody to work towards that Tuesday deadline. And uh, again, because the very final version is due a week from Tuesday and then class is done. So um, both you and I uh, really need the time to go through these. So, okay, that's it. This is Professor Joyce signing off, and I'm really looking forward to reading your field reports. All right, take care. Bye.